This is gonna be amazing. I'm serious. This is gonna be amazing. Let's keep going. What's up, guys? This is the kid DZD, aka the Drink Kang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in to the video. Thank you, new guys, for clicking on the video. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the future videos that I'm gonna be dropping on the channel. Today, I feel like getting into like a nice, sinister vibe. I want something dark, but still a bounce, but just very, very grim. A few melodies. I think we're gonna do a hip hop beat, something like that, and we're gonna make it very, very dark. Haven't done one like this in a long time. Time, so make sure you guys drop me a comment below and let me know how you're vibing with the beat I'm really excited to get this going. Let's jump inside the NPC software and get it rocking. Let's do it All right, I have a nice little bass that's pulled up so We're gonna kind of get um, this thing rocking first with a bass line and then we're gonna go from there. Let's do it I found this nice little preset in Electra X to complement um, the uh, bass line with. It's like a bass line itself, and, but it's kind of like almost like a pluck sound, but a very, very low end pluck sound. So we're going to use this to kind of make a melody off of the bass line. Now we're going to um, highlight all of these notes and duplicate them up to, to kind of give it more of a melodic feel. And just from this sound right here, you can already hear our sinister vibe kind of taking over just like we want it. Okay, I'm in uh, Avenger and I have um, the bell dance piano. This is going to give us that sinister piano vibe that we need. The reason why I'm using this piano is because it has a melodic feel to it. So check it out. It's just not like a grand piano that's very, very hard. It has that melodic feel. So when you put it in chords, you're going to hear the sinister feel. And the reason why it has that sinister feel is because you hear that little synth wobble in the piano. See if you can hear it again. Let me know in the comments if you can hear that. I'm going to play it again. Kind of hear that wobble in the piano. So you can understand how it vibes with the, uh, the actual uh, sinister beat that we're making. Check it out. This is going to be amazing. Let's keep going. Um, we're going to lay down some very, very hard, thick drums. What we want is the low end feel of the drums. So I picked a very, very dirty kick that has a very, very low end feel. And then I have my crash, my hi hats, and my open hi hat.
that's the rim shot there. Um, what I'm gonna do is turn this into like a hollow feel, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. We need to affect just this pad, so we make sure we go down here to the pad channel, make sure it's on pad channel right here, not program channel, that's what it's normally on. We wanna put it on pad channel to where we only affect just that pad. Make sure that we have the rim, the rim shot selected. And now we know anything we put here is only gonna affect A6 pad, which is our rim shot. First, we're gonna start off with some reverb. We're gonna grab our reverb. Okay, we're gonna work with these controls, just bring the decay and the mix down. We need that hollow feel, you know, so that gives us that hollow feel right there. Then the next thing we're gonna do is go to program edit, okay? And we're gonna go down here to the, the uh, semitones and we're going to adjust the semitones down to give us more of a dark feel. Let's adjust the level as well. It's a bit snappy at the beginning, so I'm going to go down here to the amp envelope and I'm going to adjust the snappiness at the beginning. Now it kind of fades in a little bit instead of that snappiness at the beginning of that time. So now we're starting to make this, we're starting to craft this sound a little bit now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a delay, the Akai Delay Sync, and this is going to give us the echo vibe. That's a bit too slow, so we want to increase the time a little bit. Okay, now that's trailing out too much, so we want to decrease the feedback. Okay, now both hits are hitting at the same velocity, so we're going to adjust the dry wet to make the first hit hit hard, and then the second hit is going to come in softer. Let's, let's make it trail out a little bit more, increase the feedback. Now let's put that in, and then we're gonna use our EQ to adjust the sound. Let's go ahead on and grab the EQ. Put it on just that pad, and we're gonna adjust this sound. Now you have that hollow darkness of a sound that's in the background that's giving it more and more of that sinister hollow dark vibe. This is just a really good tip whenever you're making these type of beats, these dark sinister type of beats, just remember to use those echo type of percussion sounds and have that playing around in the background. Just something light, you don't need a whole bunch of trap percussion sounds that goes all crazy in a beat. Just something light that's playing in the background that gives it that hollow dark feel. And, and we did it here with this with this uh, time sound. Okay, I got this pad that's pulled up in Nexus. That sounds like this. We're gonna start getting into the melody part of the track, but we want to still keep it sinister and dark. So we're gonna use this kind of pad. That way we can introduce some type of atmosphere to the background. It's almost like bringing tension to the beat and that tension will definitely enhance that dark feel. So let's do it. I'll let you see what it sounds like when I turn off the drums and the uh, the bass. Check it out. Instantly, you get that dark, kind of dreary type of vibe, man. It's 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 amazing. It's it's amazing what you could do with sound, man. I'm serious. It's amazing. If you just understand the tonal textures of sound, 
and not just look for a good sound. If you guys need to watch that video that I made a while back on tones and sounds, the difference between the two, that's a good video to watch to get you to understand how to get the correct tones when you pick your instruments. And then you can shape the sound that you want. That way all your tonal quality matches. You're getting the feel of, of the beat that you want. I am going to throw a flute on this. Um, this is a flute that I have in the Infinity Vibes VST. I'm going to mute the drums and the bass, okay? Because I just want the instruments playing because I want to be able to vibe how this, this instrument is going to go and how I'm going to play the notes. We're going to go with a vibe and just kind of freestyle something on the pads. My goodness, I am so amazed by how this beat came out, man. It has that dark, nice, sinister vibe. The bass line makes it real bouncy. You know, it's just a nice vibe, man. A nice vibe, and it's really, really dark and mellow. If you hear everything that I'm hearing in the beat, if you hear all of this stuff, make sure you guys let me know. I love to hear from you guys and the feedback that you guys get. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button also if you're feeling the beat. I really appreciate it. Just remember, if you guys are having trouble with your beats, make sure that you take advantage of my live NPC help sessions as well. That link is always in the video description. And also you can take advantage of my personal beat critiques that you have. That means you can fill out the forms, upload your beats personally and have them sent to me. And I will give you a detailed description of your beat that that tells you every single thing about it some things that you can improve on and also some things that you are doing very well that you want to continue doing it's an amazing service and it's going to help you out a lot with the tonal sounds of your beats again all of that information is in the video description make sure you guys take advantage of it if you guys want to connect with me in any type of way just to say what's up or send me a shout out anything like that instagram is probably the best place to do that drop me a follow at the drink hang on ig shoot me a dm and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i possibly can i'm gonna play this beat for you guys this is the kid dzd aka the drink king live from the dungeon palace studios and i really appreciate you guys tuning in catch you guys in the next video peace out